Welcome back. Let's hit our calls of the day, starting with Netflix. A loop hiking its price target to 700 from 585, saying Netflix remains the streaming leader. Shares actually hitting a new 52-week high in today's session. Uh, Weiss, you own this one. Yeah, look, I mean, they are the winner, just pure and simple. They've been at it the longest, and uh, they'll continue to be the winner. It's a small position for me. I bought it on one of the days that the stock was dislocated. Obviously, wish I bought more because it's done well. But it's also not cheap, and there's, there's only such a uh, large you know, multiple I'm willing to pay for anything. Mm -hmm. Their um, strategy on sports, Jason, is really interesting in terms of creating the sports events, not getting into the bidding wars, not yep. doing it in a costly way. Yep. Um, and that really, yeah. I mean, Mike, Mike Ty I mean, Weiss will probably fall asleep during it because it's more than an hour. Um, <laughs> right. But that, it's that he's old. Mike Tyson fight is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> no, I think, I think Netflix has, has been an amazing winner here. I mean, I, to, to Weiss's point and, and credit, I think it has been the undisputed winner. You know, their, their, their foray into live sports is obviously a big deal. The WWE deal, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see what happens with this Mike Tyson story, you know, fight. I think that'll be fun. But it, clearly, paid sharing, margin expansion, I, I like this name. Continue right. like Next up is FedEx Barclays, reiterating its overweight rating ahead of earnings this Thursday. Um, Shannon, you think it's all going to be all about execution at this point? Well, I mean, I think a lot of emphasis has been placed, you know, from 2020 to 2023 on shifting goods volumes and uh, how much the the post pandemic world uh, would really rely more on goods or services or that switch back. And I think if you look at the costs that FedEx needs to be concerned about, um, it's, you know, increased shipping rates and obviously what they have to pay for jet fuel. And with, the you know, the recent sort of tick up on the energy price side, certainly not anything overly concerning, um, particularly if they've they've hedged out appropriately at, at some of the lower prices. But I think on the on the execution side, whether it's FedEx or UPS, uh, Analysts are really looking for them to keep their costs under control, to have a better sense of the volumes that are coming in, um, and really look to be as as ruthlessly cost efficient as possible. And, and that's where it really comes down to execution. All right. Let's get to Darden Restaurants. Bank of America increasing its price target to 198 from 193. Darden also reports on Thursday. This is one of your stocks, Joe. Stock is near an all time high. This is not my favorite name. Obviously, in consumer discretionary for casual dining, a quick serve, I would go to Chipotle as the mm -hmm. favorite name. Uh, but you have to acknowledge Darden has traded remarkably well. It will report on Thursday. And I think what the street sees is that in 2024, they're going to have much better comps to work against. Store traffic down slightly in the prior month. That's priced in already. I think you're going to get a good report from Darden on Thursday, which will take the stock above the all-time high. All right. And finally, let's get to Vertiv. That stock hitting a new all-time high. Bank of America boosting its target to 90. Weiss, you say you love this one. This is an interesting stock. It cools data centers. Yeah, yeah. And, Mel, uh, it's getting kind of boring. you coming to me for winners in my portfolio. But I'll play <laughs> along and talk about this one. Yeah, Vertiv has a, uh, has a unique product, somewhat unique. Others make it, of course. But they are the leader. Uh, data centers run very hot, so you got to continue to cool the servers. They sell the server, the cooling racks for the servers. And when, as I've said before in the show, AI searches take as much as 20 times the power of a simple Google search. AI data centers are multiple levels, three levels versus regular ones being one level. So the future for this company is very bright. It's growing earnings in the mid 20% level and EBITDA as well. So it's pretty attractive. It looks, looks expensive on historical uh, standards, but uh, but it is a new generation in terms of what they're able to sell their uh, cooling racks for. By the way, see, see, we're going to dedicate the back half of the show to your losers. So just uh, you know, get ready for them. <laughs>